Hello, and welcome to DeviantArt Critique. Today, I'll be talking about Jim Leisman. Jim Leisman is an artist that has been around on DeviantArt for five years. He has a fan base of over a thousand watchers and has published 625 deviations in his gallery. Let's dip our feet into its depths, shall we? An underwater bondage slash drowning drawing artist, huh? Hmm. Now, where have I seen this type of thing before? That aside, Jim Leisman's art isn't the worst thing out on DeviantArt, but it is certainly not the best either. The coloring isn't bad, though it could be better, especially in terms of how light interacts with the various objects in the piece. It has this feeling of beginner-level dirtiness to it, but like I said, it isn't too bad. There are a few minor anatomical issues in his work as well. The belly buttons tend to look like they're either too big or are located too low on the body. There are some occasional issues with how breasts are proportioned, and certain people just look weirdly proportioned, probably due to some error with perspective. And speaking of perspective, this piece has clashing perspectives. The water vat containing the unfortunate prisoner of the Dr. Eggman clone up there, as well as said dastardly villain and his flying apparatus, don't go well together due to how they're drawn. But I can look past those for the most part. It's something else that I'm bothered by. The worst part of Jim Leisman's art can be summed up in one word. Repetition. Jim Leisman's worst attribute as an artist, in my opinion, is that he draws the exact same stuff over and over again, with very little in the way of variety. For instance, there is a consistent blue coloration in his images, at least the underwater ones, that he keeps using, with very little variation in the way of light. There is the once in a blue moon break from this formula in terms of color, but even then, the coloration is still very flat and mediocre overall. Also, there is the fact that he keeps doing bare-bones underwater art. Like I said with Marinal Gaieri a few months earlier, there is way more variety in underwater settings than just the subject of people in swimsuits underwater. The ocean and bodies of water in general are filled with amazing and often really scary things, and I feel that Jim can vary up his content with it. The water is way more than just a coat of liquid on a barren, sand-filled floor, after all. Overall, Jim Leisman is a decent, but mediocre artist who keeps drawing the same repetitive stuff for his audience over and over again. My final recommendations to him are as follows. Firstly, practice anatomy. This is a relatively minor issue in your work, but I would still recommend that you do this to fix it. Secondly, put fetishy stuff under mature content. Although your work is not explicit at all, it is still intended to be fetish material, and as such it needs to be treated appropriately. Thirdly, experiment with subject matter. This is to prevent your art from getting as repetitive as it is. Go look at some images of coral reefs or something and try out drawing a scenario in that setting. That way, you can at least try out something new. Lastly, and this is the most important one out of all of these in my opinion, try out some stuff with lighting. I feel that experimentation with lighting in your work can give a great deal of variety, probably even more so than with subject matter. With lighting, you can give focus to certain elements in your work and create dynamic compositions with it. You can also use literally any type of lighting since you deal with underwater stuff. Try out drawing something lit up during the night, or maybe something at the border of the surface and twilight zones of the ocean, or even anything in between. The underwater setting gives you a lot of potential to work with. Well, that does it for today. You can check me out on Twitter.com if you want to, but otherwise, I've been your host, XenonQuark996. Have a nice day.